Hello everyone, welcome back to the XSP Green Monster Channel. My name is Riley and today I'm gonna to be continuing the work on the back of my truck. So first of all, I'm just gonna to get together everything that I need to put in some new wire and to mount the amplifiers. And then I'll bring you guys down there and we'll start working. So this is basically everything I'm going to need to get these set up. Got tool kit, my drill, just some of the wires, wire strippers, and then the two amplifiers. And then I also actually am going to need some one out to four gauge inputs, which I'm going to grab out of the box now. Now I'm gonna head out to the truck and we'll get started on the install of some of this new stuff. Just got out to the truck, so now we can start doing the install on the new mids and hides amplifiers and on changing out some of this four gauge for some one knot. And I'll kind of go over that as I'm installing it. Also, I'd like to say that, um, if you enjoy the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And like I've been saying the last couple of videos, please leave a comment of a video that you would like to see down below. Um, I'd really like to make some more videos that aren't just stuff that I want to do, but some stuff that you guys want to see as well. So just let me know. I'll basically do a video on any car car audio thing that you want to see. So yeah, let me know in the comments. And I'm going to point this down at the amp rack, and we'll get right into it. First door of business is going to be to remove these two 4-gauge wires down in here. And the reason I am switching to one knot is because 4-gauge just doesn't travel power sort of well. And I have seen some stuff done, some tests where all I did was test like how many runs you can add before an amplifier stops gaining power. And basically the test said that you can add more and more runs and the amplifier never really stops like putting out more. So I like to run the biggest wire and as much wire as I can reasonably run into amplifiers. I think it's a pretty good thing to try and do. So we'll start getting this out. These are all 3 16 Allens on my bus bars and I'm basically just gonna remove these wires there isn't much else to it I'll just fast forward this stuff I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and then I will start putting in the one nut and I'll start talking to you guys again. So I'll just kind of fast forward the rest of this so you guys don't have to sit through and watch it. Alright, so now it might be kind of hard for you guys to see. But now I got those removed, I can remove them from this DD amplifier. So we'll just take out. Those. Come back in. And take out the remotes. Now back over here, I'm actually going to mount this other amplifier. So we're going to take out these screws. We're going to grab one of these amplifiers. Get the screw started. Through this hole into one of the rubber notches, otherwise it just gets too hard for me to mount all this. And then screw in the first one. And we're gonna get the second one all prepared. Thank you. 
And there we go, she's mounted. I don't know what that sound is actually. I have to check that out. That might be part of my noises back here. So now that we got that mounted, we can grab one of our power cables or one of the cables and we'll get this situated for how it's gonna run. All right, so we got to get the ground from right here over to this bottom terminal while also using a reducer. So to show you these are sky high reducers. Just one knot to four gauge, real simple. So for this, and they are offset, these reducers. You can kind of see how it's offset to one side on the reducer, that pin. So you do have to pay attention. This one is the ground side, so it'll offset it to the inside. So what I'm actually gonna do, once I find my little sky height clippers, so I'm gonna mount that first. So this is a 5 30 seconds Allen for these. So let's unscrew this bolt. We'll get the clippers. I will go to somewhere where I feel it's safe. Pull this off. Pull out any loose wires that are in there. And just slide this over. And I actually cut this one a little bit too long. You can kind of see it doesn't go over the jacket on this side, which is a problem. But this will actually fit very well down in the other side. So I guess I will change my direction a little bit. And I will just do the bomb side. So. First, I'm just going to throw this side uh, down into my bus bars. Obviously, if you don't have bus bars, it's still the same thing. Just connect it wherever your ground is. And you do always want to connect the grounds to amplifiers first because that will keep you from damaging the amplifier. There we go. So that's connected. I'll figure out how I want this to go. Probably try and do a really tight tuck right there. Just run it right like that. I don't know if you can see it, but it's running right underneath this block. And then right to there. So I'll cut it with just a little bit extra. Take this piece, go with a smaller section this time. There we go. And clean up the wires from this a little bit. Throw on the sky high reducer. There we go. Now I'm getting a nice tight fitment over the whole thing, which is exactly what you want here. And let's see, you want to kind of look at how the wire is going to want to bend as well. Oh, that's in there. And then you can just Wire this up and in. Oops, had you guys settled on this?
switch to a screwdriver because doing that with an impact is just never a good idea. go so now that's all tight in there I'll kind of show you guys afterwards when there's a little bit more room but now we'll take our white sky high and do the exact same thing So remember, this is gonna spark when you connect it. So you just kinda wanna do a little touch. See, there you go. And now it's, it should go in without sparking at all. Whoops. Do the same thing, I'll kinda tuck this wire right up there. I'll probably stay there. And I will show you guys what I've done. All right, so this is what he's doing. I know you guys couldn't see super well, but here's positive going around and to there, and then the negative tucked down right there going under and up. So that's how this amp is gonna be wired, and I will put you guys over on that side, which is a little bit darker, and I'll undo that amplifier, and then I'll wire it up, and then that's as far as I'm gonna go today, but there's my a little bit of work done for today, so I'll let you guys see it. There you go, so now you guys can see a little bit more of what's going on. So now I'm just gonna be taking out this old DD amp and putting in those new CT sounds. This one's just in here as a replacement since I had some trouble with my other DD or my other CT sounds amps. Those 200.4s, really don't recommend CT Sounds 200.4s. I've just, too many problems with them. They both spontaneously combusted one day, literally they caught fire and were smoking while I was demoing. One caught fire right at the input and then I replaced it with a backup one I had in the car at the time. But then that one blew up as soon as I got home from a two hour car drive. So it was kind of like, what the hell? But nothing I could do about it. Sent it back, it was still sponsored by CT because they were still doing sponsorships at that time. This wasn't too big of a deal because I just got replaced. Yeah, we'll get these RCAs out of here. Sky High Car Audio Premium RCAs. Highly recommend Sky High's premium line. They're just amazing RCAs. I mean, really. They're truly, truly good RCAs. And she's out. I'll try and get some light on her. There you go. DDC5D is out of there. All right, so I'm just gonna use my little um, rubber blocks from the other, from the Team 7K. The best piece of advice I have for someone trying to succeed in the film industry or any creative space is if you're doing what everyone else is doing, you're doing it wrong. And she's mounted. There we go. So now I'm just going to do the exact same thing with the wiring. So I will 
move you guys around so you can see that a little bit better. All right, so now I'm just going to continue wiring up these. I've already got this bolt pulled out, got these pulled out, and I have one of these mounted. So, since I already showed you guys this on the other side, I'm just going to fast forward this and you'll see me at the end. from Bob Dylan, but maybe I stole this from Woody Guthrie. Freedom for me is waking up in the morning and going to sleep at night and in between doing exactly what I want to do. What's the secret to happiness? The secret to happiness is finding something you love and then doing that for the rest of your life. All right, so I just got finished getting these wired up. I'm gonna turn them on to see if they work. And there you go. Blue logos on both of them. Both green. Sweet. All right, everyone, back up in the apartment now. Just finished up that install that you guys just saw. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.